of black and brown people, the vilification of immigrants, the attacks on women, destruction of the environment. These are five things that actually the system of capitalism can't do away with, but Trump is like taking a fire and pouring gasoline on all those things. When we got to MacArthur Park yesterday, there were about over 40 signs staple gun to trees all throughout the park um, with a photo of Bo Logan, a screenshot of him being interviewed on ABC with the words communist terrorist written across the front. Um, and these were reminiscent of threats hanging from, hanging from trees like the lynching days of old. What do you think happened? These fascists have it out for him because he is broken with American chauvinism and male supremacy and speaks out against the system of wars for empire. Through the nightmare being brought and enforced on us by this system, a system that has to be overthrown through nothing less than an actual all-out revolution. When I saw these photos that were like death threats, frankly, I went and tore them down off all the trees after they'd been staple gunned because this was a threat against Bo, but it was also an attempt to intimidate people from joining these mass protests, and that we cannot allow. And if you feel what I'm saying, say out now! Out, out now. now! Say out now! Out now! Trump pants out now! Trump pants out now! Trump pants out now! I'm an Iraq war veteran who is, uh, once I came back, I started looking into actually what this U.S. military is about, and I found out that it's about nothing good. Bo Logan is a hero to the people, and he served in the Iraq wars of this country. But he's not a hero for having served. He's a hero for recognizing that when he came back, recognizing that he had been uh, a, a part of carrying out the war crimes of this country and this system. And he's somebody who has very courageously spoken out against this country and those crimes. I pledge to come back week after week after week after week until they're gone. Until they're gone. So I was in the United States Marine Corps, started off in the United States Marine Corps, I was in the infantry, that means ground troops, combat troops, and I, from 2003, I was part of the invasion from Kuwait all the way up to Baghdad, George Bush. Uh, once we took Baghdad, uh, it was considered mission accomplished. I got out, went home. I started to see all the sectarian violence that was starting to happen because of the power vacuum that the U.S. had created over there. At the time, I thought it was because the U.S. wasn't stepping up and doing the right thing and needed to go back. I actually bought the lie again. And so I actually joined back up in the United States Army, and I was with the 101st Airborne, and uh, we were part of guarding areas around the city of Beijing oil refineries, city of Beijing, northern area up there for part of the surge in 2007 through 2008. And uh, after that I got out and then I started doing some investigating. And Your criticism of the government seems so to, to incite uh, the other side to come after you is because of what you did previously. Do you think that's right? I'm sure it actually plays a lot to do with it. If you serve, you should be criticizing it. That way more people actually know the truth of what's going on. That actually helps 
break down what's holding a lot of people back. And so that is one of the particular reasons that I'm sure these fascists are actually coming after me. This is why, you know, at these rallies, they've actually come up to me and said, I'm gonna kill you, Bo. I have a particular Jones for you. There's been some people who say that when we ask people to come out here, we have to warn them about the risk that they might be taking to themselves. Well, look, it is a risk to come out here. All right, how come you guys are here? Hmm? How come you guys are here? Make sure fascists don't come in and interrupt the rally. Start punching innocent people. You get knocked the fuck out. You, you put your hands on me, you get knocked the fuck out. You put your hands on me, you get knocked the fuck out. I'm not fucking moving. What do you get? She's moving. I'm not moving. You don't get that? She's on the red spot. I don't give a fuck what she does. This is my spot. I'm not moving. It's not your spot. I'm standing here. It's my spot. Donald Trump! Donald Trump! Number one! Number one! Donald Trump! Number one! Uh, you saw what happened uh, last week, right? Yep. And uh, so what are you going to do? Uh, are you here today to cause trouble or are you here today to keep uh, your friends safe? We're here to keep people safe, that's it. I would love it if no trouble happens whatsoever. Bo Logan is a US, was a U.S. Marine and served two tours of duty in Iraq. And he will tell you firsthand about the crimes, the war crimes and the crimes against humanity that he has seen the American troops commit overseas at the behest of the system. So was this the first time that you'd experienced uh, clear, direct, I'm gonna say that those are threats uh, on you. Had you experienced that previously to yesterday? Yes, uh, actually I had experienced it before. Um, but look, the reality is I can't, we can't cower at this moment. This is too important. Look, there, there's people who literally, if they did come out, they would die and they can't come out. So I still have the opportunity to come out and create the space so that we can actually drive this regime out. So I can't stop. And I, I'm sorry if I'm coming off like I'm just trying to be all macho or something about this, but the reality is, this is what we've got to do. So safety, look, let's, let's people be safe, but the best way we're gonna be safe is by driving out this fascist regime. Okay, so do you have a message for the people who uh, are trying to stop you from uh, expressing your opinion? Fuck you. The people who have always been on the right side of history have always been a minority. Think about that for a second. There's been no social change in society that didn't start with a determined minority.